Our colleague Alec Hogg spoke to Stanley Bergman, who is CEO of Henry Schein, about the latest uh, trends in the medical services sector. Well, we are the largest provider of dental products in the world, as well as of veterinary products and physician products to physicians in the uh, office setting. And it seems to be a bit of a South African thing, this getting involved in the medical services field. Uh, Steve Collis, a yes. competitor? And a little bit of a competitor, but also uh, in our field. And, uh, of course, he went to Wits, but he's a little bit younger than me. So you've got a couple of South Africans on top of the pile in this sector. Yes, of the largest players in this sector, we've got uh, two South Africans. What are you doing about moving back into the continent with this big company that you run? Yes, well, last year when you interviewed me, I told you we just opened up a business in South Africa. A year later, we are doing very well on the dental side. And now we're providing dental oral care products to South African dentists. Was it good to uh, re-establish or did, it, did you have an advantage with the connections uh, that you have with the country? Well, I think uh, we got up pretty quickly. Uh, we recruited a South African to work with us, uh, spent five years in our organization in the UK, France and Australia and then sent him back to South Africa and he's doing an outstanding job and I guess we knew what to do from an educational point of view. From your perspective, uh, running a, a New York listed company, coming to the World Economic Forum uh, once again, and you're quite a regular here, uh, having been in the hot seat for 25 years, you must see the trends. Are they worrying you? No, I, I think change is a good thing. And I think what's key is to ensure that people in the organization are engaged in change. And if they trust the organization are engaged, I think change is welcome and change is necessary and it's a great opportunity for those that take advantage of change. We're talking about here in Davos though, uh, we're definitely seeing the focus moving away from um, perhaps the, the issues that were of concern five years ago right. now to uh, issues that are <laughs> geopolitics, maybe war. Uh, it's, it's kind of scary talk that I've been picking up. I don't know if you would agree. Yeah, um, five or six years ago, 2009-10, the talk was the economy. And it's now geopolitical issues. And I think uh, uh, Ebola is an issue, post-Ebola, pa pandemics in general, ethics in business, uh, and generally the instability in the world, uh, the notion that uh, uh, Asia is not as stable as it was and the Ukraine, Russia, European issue is an issue and Latin America has its challenges and so I think in some respects Africa is viewed as a stable continent. Except for Ebola, but you have been quite involved there. Yes, well we're trying to advocate for the notion that uh, you have three failed healthcare systems. If it was a failed political situation with armies we'd be in there doing things we need to do much more to prevent these kinds of failed healthcare systems from occurring again but you are being asked about that here in Davos you serving on panels talking yes. about Ebola tomorrow I'll be on a panel and talking about the role of industry in ensuring that we combat pandemics and how can you public-private partnerships government NGOs working uh, w with the private sector